so let us start our discussion with uh, the last problem of this uh, chapter uh, so the thing is that uh, uh, the question is the system have unity feedback with g of s is equal to 20 upon s 1 plus 4s into 1 plus s uh, what we need to do we need to determine uh, type number of the system then uh, different static error coefficients uh, steady state error if uh, input is r of t right now see here uh, the thing is that uh, for determining the static error constants, right, what we need, we need the open loop transfer function that is g into h, right. So, what is g into h here? <coughs> h is nothing but unity feedback. So, g into h will be equal to g. So, it will be 20 s, uh, 20 by s, 1 plus 4 s into 1 plus <coughs> s, right. So, sorry. Now, see here. Uh, now, uh, what is the question? We need to find type number of the system. So, type number is very simple what is the <coughs> how many poles are there at the origin so this is the type number or in other words what is the highest power of s in this g of s equation so highest power here is one so we can get type number is nothing but one so here this is your type one system now second question is what are different static error coefficients right uh, listen carefully Second question is what are different static error coefficients means what we need to find the value of kp, ka and kv. Now what are type, <coughs> what are the coefficients right. So uh, we have seen that uh, there are three types right. One is positional error constant, second is velocity error constant and third is your acceleration error constant kp, kv and ka. So kp was defined as limit s tends to 0 g into h. Uh, kv was uh, limit s tends to 0 s into gh and k was limit s tends to 0 s square gh right so using this simple formulas we can find the value we can find the value of uh, yes so we can find find out the value of kp ka and kv so kp was limit s tends to 0 gh right so gh we know so limit s tends to 0 uh, gh is 20 by s 1 plus 4 s into 1 plus s just substitute the value of s is equal to 0 so if you substitute the value of s is equal to 0 the denominator will become 0 so 20 by 0 will be infinite so this positional error constant is equal to infinite for the above system right uh, now obviously this is uh, which input is given so uh, input is 2 plus 40 plus t square by 2 means what is this this is your combination of ramp unit step and parabolic signal right uh, okay so let us continue kp comes out to be infinite kv kv is nothing but limit s tends to 0 s into gh right so it will be limit s tends to 0 20 uh, s into 20 by s 1 plus 4 s 1 plus s so ss gets cancelled just substitute the value of s is equal to 0 so it will be 20 by 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 so it will be 20 so kv comes out to be constant that is equal to 20 and then ka Again, just substitute uh, the formula limit s tends to 0 s square g s. So, g into h. So, just substitute the value of s 0. So, k comes out to be 0. So, we have found, found out this part 2 that is different static error coefficient. So, kp was infinite, kv is equal to 0 and k is equal to uh, kv is equal to 20 and k is equal to uh, 0, right. Now, what is the input of the system? Now, third part. Let us deal with the third part. We need to find the steady state error that is ESS when input r of t is equal to 2 plus 4t plus uh, t square by 2. Now see, we have seen uh, in uh, our discussion in steady st calculation of steady state error. So how to calculate that? So we are having the formula for ESS as limit s tends to 0 s into e of s, right? Now we know e of s, right? So e of s is nothing but r of s upon 1 plus g of h into h of s and then uh, yes, uh, so just substitute the value of e of s here. So it will be s into r of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s and then uh, r of s will be according to the signal, right? If r of uh, t that is input is unit signal, unit step signal, then r of s will be 1 by s square, right? So uh, let us uh, solve the problem using the same technique, right? So yeah. So what is what we need to do? We need to find ESS when input is 2 plus 4t plus t square by 2, right? Now see here, we need to find the value of e, uh, ESS, right? And the formula for ESS was 
uh, we know that the formula for ESS was limit S tends to 0 S into R of S by 1 plus GH, right? Now we know the value of GH, right? We know the uh, value of R of S. Okay, we know R of T, R of T is 2 plus 4T plus T square by 2. So R of S we can find by taking the Laplace transform. So 2 as it is, uh, uh, Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by S plus 4 into 1 by S square plus T square by 2. Uh, Laplace transform is uh, yes, it will be 1 by s cube, right? Okay, so by considering this Laplace transform, uh, we just substitute the value of r of s here, so it will be s into r of s divided by 1 plus gh, right? So r of s, we will substitute the value here, uh, r of s is nothing but okay, uh, r of s is nothing but 2 by s plus 4 by s square plus 1 by s cube into s square as it is, right? And here what I have done, I have just simplified 1 into this denominator and this denominator will go in the numerator. So this will become after simplified, after simplification it will become this R of S into S square, <coughs> uh, S into R of S, right. So it will be S into this denominator, S into S, S square, 1 plus 4 S, 1 plus S and in the denominator it will be 1 multiplied by this denominator plus 20. So it comes out to be S into 1 plus 4 S into 1 plus s plus 20. Now this is the big equation and in this equation we need to substitute the value of s is equal to s is equal to 0 right. So limit s tends to 0 once you put the value of s is equal to 0 here it will be 2 by 0 plus 4 by 0 plus 1 by 0 so this bracket comes out to be infinity and uh, then s s will get cancelled and uh, if you substitute if you simplify uh, what you will get finally you will get the value of uh, ESS to be infinity right. So uh, what is ESS for the given system when input was R of t so ESS was infinite right. So what is the conclusion that uh, for a type 1 system right uh, the error is infinite right error is infinite means what accuracy is 0. So accuracy is 0 means what this is not at all accurate this is a type 1 system and here error is infinite means it is not accurate system and why it is not accurate system it is due to the parabolic signal t square by 2 right. So a type 1 system cannot track a parabolic input t square by 2 if you are giving a parabolic input to the type 1 system obviously the output will be not accurate at all hence this system a type 1 system with parabolic input is a useless system you can say. So static error uh, now uh, how we can reduce the static error. So we can reduce the static error by increasing the type number of the system. So how I can get the logic? Uh, so I will get the logic from this uh, uh, yes, from this table. So for type 1, type 0 system, if unit signal is there, then there will be some error, right? So type 0 system, it will work for unit step signal. Type 1 system, it will work properly for ramp signal. Type 2 system, it will work, it will give some constant error for parabolic signal but if type and uh, type 2 system will give a zero error right. Mm, so the thing is that from this uh, we can get an idea that uh, for what type of signal what input should be there or for, uh, for what input which type of signal will give some constant error or zero error or infinite error. And uh, lastly uh, let us uh, have a combined problem. Uh, so, what is the problem? Determine the value of error rate factor that is Ke so that the damping ratio is 0.5. Uh, also, determine all the time domain specs and uh, steady state error for the ramp input, right? So, this is a combined problem where we need to find all the time domain specifications as well as ESS, right? Uh, and uh, there are two conditions. Part one is we need to find with error rate control, and second type, uh, second is without error rate control, right? So, with error rate control, this is the system. So, first of all, what we will do, we will try to find the transfer function. So, this is the system, G will be this block into this block. So, this will be 1 plus S K E by S plus 2 into 10 by S and H is ob obviously it is 1 because it is given unity feedback, right. So, transfer function, closed loop transfer function will be G upon 1 plus G H. Uh, so, it comes out to be this thing, right, if you substitute the values and if you observe carefully, this transfer function will have the quadratic equation in the denominator and that's it, right. Once you get the quadratic equation, 
uh, we can compare it with the standard quadratic equation that is s square plus 2 zeta omega n uh, plus omega n square and if you compare it with the standard equation it comes out to be this is 10 is equal to omega n square so therefore omega n is equal to root 10 so we get the value of omega n as 3.16 uh, similarly the coefficient of s that is 2 plus 10 k e will be equal to 2 into zeta so therefore zeta is equal to uh, 2 plus 10 k e just substitute the value of k e uh, yes so zeta zeta now see here this is the equation 2 zeta omega n is equal to 2 plus 10 k e now we know the value of omega n yes we know the value of zeta okay in the problem it is given that uh, find the value of ke if damping ratio is 0.5 what is damping ratio damping ratio is nothing but zeta so zeta is given that is 0.5 so just substitute the value of zeta we know omega n so we can get the value of ke as 0 0.116 right so once we get the value of zeta once we get the value of omega n we can get all the time domain specifications right so t of s percent mp t d t s all these time domain specifications you need to calculate right and this is your homework okay you just have to calculate all the time domain specifications now what is the thing we need to find the steady state error so for steady state error again what we want we want the transfer function yes but which open loop transfer function that is g into h so g into h comes out to be uh, this thing right so if you observe carefully the denominator uh, the degree of s highest degree of s is 1 so it is type number uh, of the system is 1 so this is type 1 system right okay now for type 1 system we will find out kv so what is kv kv is nothing but limit s tends to 0 s into g of s right gh so if you substitute here gh value ss will get cancelled and then you can find 10 1 plus 0 by 0 plus 2 so it will be 10 by 2 that comes out to be 5 and uh, what is this uh, this is kv okay and then ess will be equal to 1 by kv why 1 by kv because we are having the formula right uh, what is the input input is ram signal right so if you observe here uh, okay i have closed the system but okay if you see the steady state error for ram signal uh, the steady state error for ram signal will be equal to 1 by kv and hence it comes out to be 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2 so error is only 0 0.2 okay uh, so this was the solution of this problem we have find out all the parameters as well as steady state error when input was ram signal now second part of the problem is what second part of the problem same thing we need to do without error rate control without error rate control means what this diagram will be same just k will be 0 so if you substitute 0 it will be 1 upon s plus 2 so i will redraw the diagram as uh, yes i will redraw the diagram as if i will shift this thing yes so i will redraw the diagram as uh, yes uh, here 1 plus ke term was there so i just uh, uh, made it zero because this is without ke so the diagram will be 1 upon s plus 2 uh, here 10 by s and then this is your r of s this is your c of s so you can find out now transfer function of this system and then again same problem right so we need to solve the same problem with this system now this is the simpler problem right so uh, i expect that uh, the solution of this problem uh, you will do as, as a homework right so same thing we need to do we need to find for first closed loop transfer function once you get the closed loop transfer function compare it with the standard um, denominator uh, s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus uh, yes omega n square and then you can get all the time domain specifications and then again what we need to do we need to find gh so gh you will get and then it will be type 1 system then you find out kv and then you can find out the value of steady state error right okay so thank you